job. Uh, we had one issue with protection that uh, luckily Joey got it off. I think our kickoff coverage was good. We had a punt return. We were one block away from a touchdown, I thought, and uh, a kickoff return where their guy, we had three guys on one, and the one guy made the tackle. So we're getting close. I told our guys, you know, we're, we're getting closer and closer to scoring again. And we just, it all just comes down to executing and, and really getting 11 guys on the same page, not just nine or 10 or however many it is. Does Jay have any trouble uh, for kind of having a short memory with the, with the missed kick? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think Jay's even thought about that. I mean, it was another long one. I think he missed it right off the foot. He kind of came across it a little bit. And, uh, you know, it goes back to his fundamentals. He, he made the first two long ones because his fundamentals are solid. And uh, I think he just got out of whack a little bit on that one. How, How much Bruce done so far this year? I think he's done good. Uh, you know, I think the thing that Bruce, with his athletic ability, I think experience on kickoff returns is invaluable, meaning that what happened was the guy, I mean, we were running up on that defender, and Bruce almost got on him too quick and couldn't make a cut. So I think just the experience and the spacing is going to help him. So I'm encouraged um, with, with where we're heading. And, and, you know, his second return is pretty good too. But I just think he just needs more time to kind of read things and get his vision right. What makes Marty Marquette so good at getting down there and making tackles on kickoffs? He's the fastest guy in the field. I mean, he's just, you know, he's the fastest guy in the simple. field. And it, you know, that, that's the first thing. But then, he, you know, he's, he's athletic enough and changes directions well enough to make tackles in space. But, um, you know, you, the biggest thing is you need speed. And at this level, a guy like him is really hard to block. And teams have been scheming him to try to get him blocked early. And uh, we're having to scheme some stuff to be able to get him down there. So he's done a great job. Right now, he's our points leader, meaning he's our most productive special teams player through four games. Do you have any plans right now to use Demir Bird at all on Saturday on the special teams? He's on the depth chart. You know, I don't have any specific anything, uh, you know, any special plans for Demir. If, if through the week he is a guy that uh, we think we might, might can help us, there may be something we do with him. I think their kickoff coverage team is one of the best in the SEC. What do they do? He's got 15 touchbacks. You know, so he's got, I'm not sure how many they've kicked off. I want to say I went through the tape last night, and I think opponents have returned maybe five against him. So he's kicking the ball like eight yards out of the back of the end zone. I mean, Jay's done a nice job for us, but for example, Jay, three of Jay's 20 kickoffs are touchbacks. I think this guy's got 15. I know he's got 15, but I think it's 15 out of 20-something. So that's just where it starts. You're starting with the possession on the 20-yard line a bunch. And, they, you know, they got, you know, Auburn's got good athletes. They can cover, and, you know, they, they do a nice job. Coach, did you have to talk to Ace about how to carry the ball after that, that little snap? We talked to all of our special teams guide returners that, you know, we, you try to work it in practice, but, you know, we don't tackle a whole lot in special teams. So you just – we'll do some drills this week. And, you know, he's carrying that thing like a loaf of bread, kind of like Antonio was carrying the fumble. And anybody that holds the football has got to immediately secure that ball high and tight and realize that they have to run with it that way or they're, they're in danger of losing it. So, I mean, if that guy doesn't make that play, knock that ball out, Ace is around the corner and he's running down the sideline. So. Antonio Allen seems uh, sort of like a very quiet business-like guy from the perspective we see. What's he like? Um, he's an experienced veteran that's been through the wars. You know, he's been through, he's practiced a lot here, and he's played a lot of games. And, you know, he's kind of an even-keeled guy. You know, Antonio plays, makes some really, really good explosive plays, but still can play a whole lot better. If he keeps practicing better and stays healthy, you know, I think he, he's set up to have a great year, but he's he's just an old vet here. You know, he's he's been through it. What was your first? I, I imagine when you took the job, you sort of scouted, pre-scouted all of your personnel. What was your first impression of him as a player? Oh, I thought he's he's a great body. I mean, Antonio's got he's got NFL corner skills. I mean, he's he's really fast. He's got great hips. He's got great feet. He's long. I mean, he's got everything you look for. I think our program would love to have. 20 more type guys like him. Yeah. He's, he has all the skills you're looking for. Demario sure, sure. was pretty direct in, in saying that he liked playing weak side linebacker. Is he taking the move back to Spur? Oh, okay. Yeah, he's fine. Demario's a team player. He understands what we need to do. He understands what his role is, and I think he understands right now that he's going to get on the field a whole lot more at that position. So, um, Demario's very coachable, and uh, he's a good, good guy to have uh, at that position behind Antonio. Is he 100% with the ankle now? Yeah, I think both of those guys are fine. I mean, nobody's – the old age-old saying nobody's 100% after four games, and these kids are beat up and banged up. I'm not 100%. My back's killing me, so we're all at that point. We'll let him go get some heat. Was, uh, <laughs> yeah. was Ryan Fitzpatrick at Harvard when he was – Yeah.
He was a great what, player what, at Harvard. What kind of guy is he with you at Harvard? He's an unbelievable kid, great leader, um, a great player, and I am totally not surprised at all that he's having the success he's having. He can make every throw. We were 10 0 that year, and nobody even came close to us. He was the best quarterback you know, in the East Coast. He's a great player.